All right, we're seeing a walk out here. Easy money. I say that's one thing I think that's, you know, probably pretty important. Like we have the direct link and then you can see where they're standing too. We have a forecasted placing in there based off of their weight class, as well as a forecasted overall winner. And it looks like Billy took a five key jump. So okay. Heidi was right. <laughs> Heidi was right. I'm just going on record. <laughs> oh, that was, that was nice. Nice. From Dakota. And that was, he's the one who took a 20 key jump here. <laughs> right? I'm like, that's my weight class. That's my weight class when I want, I want some tacos. Exactly. Um, if, um, if there, I, there's a reason why we're talking and not lifting. Right. Them, right? That's, <laughs> that's correct. Uh, and it's amazing, you know, because you, when you see uh, these lifters in person, you're like, wow. Dakota, 352. Very nice. Kind of a long pause there. A lot of times when we see a longer pause on the chest. Um, but I was saying earlier that... Um, when I coach new people and I have a lot of new people, I don't coach them to go back because they tend to always rack it, yep. you know, and, uh, if we're competitive, if we're, you know, if we're doing just strength training, that's different. Testing. Very nice to coach. Dakota with a 369. I don't have to do sumo. I'm a conventional. It's a range bullet. of motion conversation. Range, yes, yeah. you know what I mean, right? <laughs> uh, and all of you out there know what I mean as now well. That, now that we said sumo, the chat's going to light yeah, up. Yeah, let, let us know who's a sumo lifter here, who's a conventional lifter. Dakota with 170 kilos, 374 pounds. Easy. Beautiful second attempt. You know, it's that same conversation with the bench arch as well. Yeah. I mean, like, and if, if you can do it and if you can train yourself and get yourself in that position, I mean, that's that's the cheat code. But it's like you can work on that and improve that, improve your own ability so you can pull sumo. I mean, like, it's just pushing, brushing those feet off almost like a bull, right? Mm -hmm. I tell all my lifters, you know, if you're powdering up and you are in sumo stance, make sure you brush yes. those feet off, right? You do not want those feet yep. slipping. Because that's the thing with baby powder. And I say keep your hands to yourself because you don't want that baby powder Absolutely on anything. Not. Wow. That looked that was good to very me. Very well executed. Yeah.